tugiye kuganira kugushobozwa na Kristo duhimbaraga we are going to talk about being empowered by Christ to strengthen us hanyuma inziti zizo mu buzima tuzirenga kuko twahawe na Kristo imbaraga we can only overcome life challenges by being empowered by Christ wa filipi kane 12 na 13 niho havuga amagambo Philippians 12 and 13 re kumusemuzi wacu asome hanyuma dokomeze I will read in uh, Philippians chapter 2 verses 12 and 13 it says chapter 4 chapter 4 verses 12 it says I know what it is to be in need and I know what it is to have plenty I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation whether well fed or hungry whether living in plenty or in want i can do everything through him who gives me strength amen amen zigucishwa bugufi sino kugira ibisaga naho naba ndi hose nuko naba ndi kose nigishijwe uburyo bwo kwihanganira byose ari uguhaga ari gusonza ari kugira ibisaga cyangwa gukena 13 shobuzwa byose na Kristo umembaraga amen amen um murabizi ko mu rusengero haba impano nyinshi nyinshi cyane we have many gifts in church ariko nkundi jambo y'Imana kuruta ibindi bintu byose bibera mu rusengero but the word of god is way above everything that's in church nishobora kuvuga Imana ndahari because i cannot speak without god's presence and is the one who is the author hanyuma rero hano bibira paro yavuze ko yigishwe guhaga gusonza kuba muri byinshi no muri bike shobozwa na Kristo mpimbaraga Here Paul is telling us he's learned to be content in all situations. Mumi giye tuzamara natugiye kureba ko Kristo akwiye kudufasha kurenga inziti zizo mu buzima. In the days we will be together go, we are going to see how Christ enables us to go beyond our limitations. Bana ko twaje gusenga Imana ishimwe. We have come to pray thank God. Ariko ari giye dusenga nabi. Sometimes we do not know we do not pray ngo muhabwe kuko musaba nabi. James said you pray and do not receive because you pray in vain. Ah niba amasengesho y'imistatu ya Esther yaratumye abayahudi bakira genocide ari giye kubakorera. If Esther just took three days and they were effective to stop a genocide against Hagya mirongo ine yasengewe mu kuri no mu mwuka yakora ibingana. How about 40 days prayed in truth and pray and spirit? gusa kubera tuta tuti Paul yavuze ngo nigishijwe guhaga no gusonza muri byose nshozwa na Kristo mpimbaraga Paul is telling us how he's learned to be content and being strengthened by, through everything by him who gives us strength Sometimes we've not been taught how to pray So we pray in vain Mu gisirikare ari bisasu bihenda In the army there is uh, some expensive artillery or uh, ammunition uh, rocket like rockets and others bigura menshi mu byukuri they are very expensive nabyo babiremeye gusenya brande cyangwa se mabeto and they have been uh, created to bring down barriers or blockages tekereza nko wafata nk'igisasu gihenda gucyo akagitera nk'inyoni Imagine using such a, a, a heavy weaponry to shoot birds. They will think something is wrong with his head. So make sure you are focused and you shoot on target in prayer. Know what you're aiming at kandi ube wizeye numusaruro bizatanga and have faith that you receive what you prayed for senga kuzana impinduka zikomeye cyane yo twasengiye mu kuri no mu mwuka prayer is so dynamic in results ni huse rero kristo arahari kugira ngo dushoboze quickly uh, christ is here to enable us uh, gusa sinzi niba twiteguye gushobozwa but i don't know if we are ready to receive 
kuva kuri Adam umuntu yaratsinzwe from Adam man has failed hanyuma Yesu aza kubana n'umuntu kugira ngo akosora amakosa yakozwe and Christ dwelt with man to correct his mistakes Adam wa mbere yazanye urupfu Adam wa kabiri azana ubugingo buhoraho the first Adam brought death the second Adam brought eternal life umunezero we wa kwa rukubana n'abantu his joy was dwelling with people amategeko nibitambo byose byaratsinzwe commandments and sacrifices were overcome ngo kudushoboza byo tutashobora muri kamera we only needed grace that empowered us where we couldn't do kuva kuri adamu akoze icyaha cyangwa sagakora ikosa ryo gutatira igihango bagiranye n'Imana since the fall of adam or moving away from the covenant he had with god umuntu yakoze irindi kosa rya kabiri man made another mistake kwanga kwakira ubumushobozi not receiving he who enables yaje mube abe ntibamumenya he came among his own his own nibana mwakira did not know him neither receive him mu mwijima mwijima ntiwakira umuco he was he found them in darkness and darkness could not comprehend him nasomye amagambo kare numva umubabaro I felt so much sorrow reading these words. Usually darkness flees on when light comes in. Natekereje iyi resistance ukuntu umwijima washowe ku resista umuco nka Yesu. I was imagining how darkness could resist a light such as Christ. I felt sorrow. Birababaje ko umuntu aba mu rusengero imyaka itatu itanu agisambana It's painful to see someone being in charge 3 5 years but they are still in adultery in witchcraft in in fornication and still being overcome umuntu agakomeza kugira ubugugu no kwikunda yarumvisha ibintu nk'ibyavugiwe hano you find them still selfish having yaraje mu itorero rifite ibikwiriye byose kugira ngo uhinduke kuba mwiza in the church that has everything they need for their transformation umuntu kwavira mu mwiji mu mwiji mu karizista the darkness resists the light yesu yaraje kugira ngo adushoboze ibyananiye abatambye namategeko abidushoboze kubwo ubuntu bw'Imana Christ came to help us to do what the high priests had failed hanyuma birangira nanone byanze and then at the end of it all they he couldn't yaravuze ngo icyakora abamwemeye bakizera izina nge yabahaye ubushobozi wahindura kuba abana b'Imana but those who believed he gave them the power to become the authority to become children of god yaravuze ngo icyakora bakavuga ngo ariko bakavuga nuko ibindi byo bitagenze neza when you find a bad or however it means things haven't gone well in the first place abamwemeye bakizera izina nge those who believed in him he has given them authority you have been given authority authority you couldn't handle under in, in the kind of nature when he was at the mount of elion yavuze amagambo ababaje he spoke these words that he was uh, in church they showed him the temple of jerusalem in jerusalem uh, he said i have no issue with that temple i have one issue you have not known your time the time of, you do not know your time of visitation that's why you'll be scattered you'll be destroyed no stone will remain upon each other we should know how much grace we've been given how he came to help us overcome all these limitations and do other good one thing i would tell you uh, paul said i can do all things through christ to strengthen if you allow to be strengthened by him and move in the, along with him in the path of life, he becomes your partner uh, <laughs> bakaje bumva hano baje nko gushikira mushumba kuko bamukunda some people come here thinking maybe they are here to support the pastor because they love him akamana imyaka n'atarabu mwana mu rugo 
and he you may spend here years kuna chitinya ukabona numufana gusa ariko sumvatanya biko you spend time here with an inferiority complex not yet Kristo nabwo bikuye kugenda bityo it shouldn't be like that in Christ kuye kuba umwana mu rugo you should feel at home and be a child in the hano twese dufite uburenganzira bungana and we all have equal rights here igihe uzabona intebe bikuye guterura uzayiterure if you find a seat out of place igihe uzumbuke ukore isuku uzayikore if you find a place that is clean igihe uzabona mugenzi wawe agwaye uzamusura utabanje uruhusha ngo kwa pasteli if you have see someone who needs to help kwiyumva nk'umwana mu rugo you should feel at home hanyuma tukiye tukiye kuganira ku kurenga inzitizi We are going to talk about these limitations. Shobozwa na Kristo umpimbaraga. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens. Kwa imbaraga hari nzitizi ukwiye kurenga. Hari nzitizi ukwiye kurenga. There are some limitations you should overcome. Nzitizi ya mbere. The first one. Ngiye kuvuga nyinshi mu mwanya muto. We will say much in a short time. Nzitizi ya mbere ni wewe ubwawe. Ni kamera yawe. Is your nature. Uh, Paul yaravuze ngo nshaka gukora ikiza ikibikikantanga imbere ikibinanga kikabari sho nkora I see Paul said I seek to do good but evil is there with me Harugo yageze igihe aravuga ngo umubiru ntera gukora ibyahanza ukizwa ni I want him said what shall I do to this body of of death Igihe ashoboye kurenga iyo nzitizi yaravuze ngo imana ishimwe iduha gukira kubwa Kristo Yesu I thank at the end of it said I thank God for who, who gives me a victory a guhunga ikikwirukana byakoroha ariko guhunga ikikwirukanwa birakomera it's good it's easier to run from what is chasing you but it's hard to run from what is within you it is ya mbere ni wowe ubwawe you are you are the first limitation to yourself hanyuma abantu rero bahise abantu baheranwe niyo nzitizi people who are, have under that limitation barasa nkaho bahimbye indi mirongo muri bibiliya it's like they have changed other verses in the bible Eregimani ravizi ko turi abantu they keep saying god knows we are human nimugakabye gukiranuka do not exaggerate righteousness intunga nibwira icumuye karindwi you can a righteous man falls seven times abanya ntege nke bagira imirongo mwabantu they will give you so much scripture aho ano paulo yaraharenze Paul went beyond that. Yego yavuze imirimo 16 ya kamere. Yet he had a lot of flesh. Ariko avuga n'imbuto z'umwuka. Spoke the works of the flesh. Ageri gihade kararufura avuga ngo singi ukiriho ni Kristo aba muri nge. But he also spoke about the fact nawe nzukana nawe. Said no it's no longer I who live. Aho hantu uri abandi baraharenze. But Christ liveth is me. Kandi imbaraga zabashoboje kuharenga mu itorero zirahari. Why are you are some people have moved beyond that and the power that enabled them is still there for you let this prayer at least help you to be transformed some people are get used to their character evil characters and they say that is how i am just take me like that you may be badly off Niba niba ukumeze bituma abandi baguhunga ushobora kutameze neza If your character pushes away other people it means you may be having a issue Ya kabiri ni dini The second limitation is religion Iyo tuvuze dini tuba tuvuze imyizerere y'ubuyobe When we talk about uh, 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 religion we are talking we are talking about false doctrine Ah biya bimbabaza iyo abantu bari bwigishwa kuri kwijambo ry'Imana barabihunga I feel bad when people run away from sound doctrine arika abantu bigisha ubuyobe baba buzuye and yet people are always swarming around false doctrine nimuke ko Yesu ari ku musozi wa Elayono when Jesus was at the mountain of Elayon ijambo yagarutseho inshuro nyinshi he kept talking about this yaravuze ngo mwirinde hatagira ubayobye is like take heed that you may not be deceived muri iki gihe ubuyobe bumeze na nowadays there's a lot of deception ubuyobe bumeze na there's lots of deception kimwe mu byo dukiye kwirinda nubuyobe bwigishwa we should take heed about the false teachings inyigisho z'ubuyobe ntabwo arizo nshaka kuvugaho muri uyu mugizi ruzuye i'm not here to talk about false teachings kandi bamwe muri zo nabayoboke bazo because some of them are followers of those teachings umuntu yarambiye twaravanye twarasenganye gihe kinini is a brother in whom we prayed with for a long time ariko kunyandikira tumarana hafi joro yose 
recently we exchanged uh, conversation almost the whole night he told me how he loves me and how he loves what I speak but he said he had received a revelation and he told me that he loves me but he feels like I have also lost the way and I told him which you've known another truth he told me that I have come to realize that the sins of my past and my present and future have been forgiven. It's like I have understood that all my sins are forgiven. Now I can commit adultery and even be drunk. I felt bad because of the years we spent together. And now he, he claims to have a new revelation. If the salvation we receive was to allow us to fornicate and abort and other things, then, then, then we have received the grace in vain. The grace of God allows us to imitate Christ. Such teachings and others like such people love them. Some even mobilize people not to give offerings. Telling them it's not a must to give to God. It is there that mobilization exists. But is deception. It is deception. Uh, scripture has told us I, I, I can do all things through Christ uh, it is being uh, enabled by Christ is being able to go through such days and going through safely the third limitation is the world when we talk of the world, we speak of three or two or three things. It's not this uh, earthly. Uh, we have no issue with the land. We speak of the world system. And the life that we live in day-to-day. Because some people determine our lives. And we also talk of the, the wealth of the world. For example, a long time they said it's not good to give birth to one child. And that's what the Chinese learned. And yet there are many. This side which was seconding giving, they, who said that it is good to have one child then they so people were afraid to give birth to two kids because they would not support them. So some, so in some European countries and Asian countries, the elderly are more than the youth. Some countries cannot even get used to get to join the army as citizens. The second example. Ukraine We've seen war between Ukraine and Russia. And prices on the world world market were tripled. Some have even more than tripled. When you speak of the world, uh, we, are talk we, are talking about, we are talking about overcoming all those systems and challenges, yet keeping our righteousness. Uh, During the COVID times, there was a certain prime minister who said that people should understand that life will never be the same again. And indeed, after COVID, Russia attacked Ukraine. 
Now we don't know what will come next. We don't know what is next. We don't know where we work. We don't know what seasons bring. But we know the God who, who is the God of seasons. We shall not be anxious. The time Christ fed the multitudes. It should have taught us a lesson that even if we have a go through economic crisis, <laughs> our providence comes from heaven. It will, God will continue to sustain us. People are worried about the future. They are even committing suicide. They are afraid of tomorrow. But if you feel that Christ is your partner, you will be comforted. In the, in the strength he gives us, he also has us partnering with him. Also pertaining the world is wealth. <laughs> Sometimes God delays to bless his people not because he hates them but he, he wants to build in them capacity so, so that these blessings do not become idols in their lives. There are people who have received their blessings and never came back to church. There are some people after receiving answers to their prayers have never come back to church. If you are tempted and, and you fall because of a few things, material things, <laughs> Even our nation is not developed. Many are in the sub-Saharan countries are developing. How, now you, how about you? What do you have? If even the nation you belong to is a developing nation, what do you have? It's painful. It's painful. If your value is in the money you have, if your value is in the car you have, if your value is in the car if you're feeling great because of a mere house in Kigali, that is such cheap thing. The soul is more valuable than all those. There's, there's no reason as to why you should not get a channel. Like Still on the same point. Some people have, have not gotten God because they are after life, running after life livelihood. What you love, you create time for. Because when you have to want to watch football, you will get time. You even have time to watch movies. So how can you fail to get time to pray? It's because you do not have a prayer. You lack priorities. You don't know how to make priority in your day. The other limitation is ignorance. Ignorance is multifaceted. There is lack of knowledge. There is also not uh, pretending not to uh, know. It is all ignorance. Uh, Look, running after Christ for bread. Not because you love him is ignorance. Honoring God because of feeding you. Uh, 
That should not be the reason as to why we look for God. We should live a life that is based on the scriptures. And bring these scriptures into our lives. The fifth limitation is the traps of the enemy, of the devil. In the Lord's prayer, He said, Do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Look at me. Temptation is a great thing. Even he, they didn't fear Peter who was, who was given the keys to Amosha the kingdom. Temptation didn't fear Christ after 40 Amosha days. He, the temptation is not afraid of speaking in tongues. It's not afraid of your status. He said, do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from evil. We should pray to God to lead us into temptation. When it's your daily prayer, not because you're afraid, but because you need to be strengthened like because the very power Christ used to overcome the devil is the very power that empowers you to overcome your limitation. The devil is wicked. He is very patient. He can wait for you in your youth and he traps you in your poor age. He may leave you when you're poor and tempts you when you get rich. He may let you when you're still despised and then he gets you when you're honored. Do not lead us into temptation but deliver us from evil. There is no far place you've reached the devil can't shoot at you. We ought to pray for God's power. What was Paul saying? He put on a full armor of God that you may stand and not be overcome by the wiles of the enemy. The devil does not speak lies a hundred percent. He will speak truth like 95%. And mix it with poison of 5% and he know. He tells you something similar to truth. During the time he was speaking to Eve. He said, did God say you should not eat of any fruit? Where was the trap? So that he could introduce a, a, a conversation. Some people have mental issues. Because they listen to the devil. And they heard the devil say, no one loves you. No one cares about you. Your problems are yours alone. And then they ultimately says, even God has left you. What, what do you need? So that the devil is after you. You losing hope in life. Do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from evil. The sixth limitation is when we are uh, we have we encounter many trials that surprise us. I will refer to the parable of the house on the rock and the house upon the sun. The people who were in these houses didn't know one of the houses. But when the storm came and fell upon these houses, that's when when people go to know which house had been built upon a firm foundation. Soldiers have one good thing in common. 
they prepare for war during times of peace. That's when they train. That's when they buy ammunition. Uh, and yet it's time of peace. When God gives us such times to pray, and gives us time to get close, make sure you derive power, eat enough, so that when the storm comes, we will find you found, and will not shake you, because we live a life of negligence. We only look for God in times of trouble. And when trouble comes, many people succumb. We should be strengthened by Christ. Seven is untreated wounds. That is a limitation. Um, I don't think I will get a good clear explanation just in one word. Many people misrepresent God because of the life of wounds or being wounded. People speak of God as a God who, is, uh, who kills. Look at me. We may have a good source of water which is supposed to go through a dirty pipe. The, the delivery end will have dirty water. Not because of the source but because of the rusted pipe you will receive dirty water. When the source is clean but the pipe is, has a problem. Uh, when you've been rejected, you reject others. Uh, hurt people, hurt others. It is hard for me to trust a brethren because you have been hurt. One of the things Christ was anointed was to heal wounded hearts. Uh, he brought, uh, if you bring your wounds, we come to exchange. At the cross, we get you bring you, you at the cross you exchange a crown for ashes you exchange joy for despair we are not People here laugh when they by mistake, yet we have a God who gives joy. We have, we have people who complicate life, yet we are supposed to be in the house of peace. It's because people have refused to receive healing. You should know Christ is not only after your sin, but if even to heal your wounds. The other challenge is not knowing truth. Christ said you shall know the truth and the truth will set you free. Uh, truth, the source of truth is from two or three places. The first source is in the Bible. The other source is from our culture, what we've been taught. That is our values. And then there is the usual progressive truth that is revealed. There is a revealed truth, the biblical truth that is written, and also a, tr a truth that is from our culture. You will know the truth and it shall set you free. 
kutamenya ukuri ni inzitizi ignorance of truth is a limitation dukwiye kumenya ukuri kw'ijambo ry'Imana we ought to know the truth of the word of god amen amen uh kumenya ukuri ni ikintu cy'ingenzi it is such an important thing ukuri nzi ubu the truth i know today iyo nkumenya mbere yo kubyara if i had no need before abana banje hari ibazo batari bugi having kids ariko nabyaranye ubuswa bwinshi but i had kids when i was still ignorant ubutamenya bwinshi without knowing many things narinzi ku munyamwuka afite ukuntu abaho i used to think the spiritual people live a certain way naho mbere ya pastor yimba pastor yikuruta kuba papa wabana even when i became a pastor i became more of a pastor than a father to my children mugara rambura nabana barambura my wife and my kids would not see me kandi ngumva ibyo sawo and i felt that was what i was the right thing to do namenye ukuri narabihinduye but when i go to know the truth i changed ubundi desire nowadays i'm desire ndu mu kristo i'm a christian ndu mugabo wada i am a, a husband ndi papa wa divenadan i'm also a father to my kids anyuma nga pastor inyuma and then being a pastor comes after all that niki chamu mu yamaso what opened my eyes musu mwe navuye hanze ngera ku kibuga nka sache nde joro one day ke i arrived at the airport at around 3 am ntabwo nirwe mbabwira ngo bazana abana kuko bwari bwije i didn't tell my kids to come because it was late anyuma nari mfite anniversaire musu kuri kiyeho i also had a birthday in the following day muhungu wange muto yari akiri muto cyane my my younger boy was still very young ariko kuko azi ko nkundi ndabyo asaba amafaranga mama we but because he knew a of flowers he asked money from the mom arangije agenda gurura byo he went and bought a bouquet of flowers ararumbikira and kept it for me mugitondo sa 10 nevyira azara komanga in the morning at 6 he knocked at my door he said dad i know you came and nguzana yurura byo isabu kurunziza and told me daddy happy birthday and here is a bouquet of flowers numva ndishimye ariko sigambajije ikibazo i was so delighted but he asked me a question arambira ngo papa ngo harakabazo nashaka kukubaza he said daddy i want to ask you a question ngo ba abantu bose wirubwe inyuma ngo nta muntu numwe azisaba kuri amavuko ya because said all those people you are always running after no one knows your birthday na was the chance to service i was at a loss of words ningawe yarambye ati waradutaye turakubura in other words was like we no, we no longer see you bose wirubwe inyuma nta nuzi ko wavutse and the people you are always running after do not know your birthday ubwo niba batazi ko wavutse bazamenya ko wagwaye so if they don't know your birthday will they get to know when you're sick abantu benshi naba consommateur ariko ntabwo produce many people are consumers they never contribute anything kubicho gena tangiye kumva gacira ku mujyango from that day onwards i started valuing my family mubwire ibintu biri ukuri let me tell you truth umunsi wa wagiye mu kiruko kizabukuru the day you get into your pension uzasubira mu mujyango you will go back to your house umunsi business ya home tuzajya mu mujyango the day your business closes uh, you will go to your house umunsi wagwaye uzagwazwa no mujyango the day you're sick you will be attended to Aha, by your family ibabaje ahantu utigeze ushora imbaraga uzashaka gusarura aho utabibye the very place you did invest in you will remember to have vest Aha, where you didn't so tatanze urukundo uzashaka ko bagukunda you will want them to love you to never I loved them kuri nge kuri ubu nowadays to me amahitamwo yabaye menshi habanze umujyango when i have to make priority i have to ch- i choose first family first nanya wa mbere family comes first covid yadukoreye ibintu bibi byinshi covid had many bad things ariko ari kintu kiza yakoze but also there's one good thing it did yasubije umujyango hamwe it brought the cohesion of the family na amahitamwo twari dufite we did not have not we had no choice <laughs> we, were, we were ordered to remain in our homes afande kabera byuka kavuga ati samoya murugo the spokesperson of the police used to tell us murugo at 7 pm be at home saa tatu guma murugo 8 and 9 be at home yine kugera saa 10 nebyiri guma murugo till morning stay home amasaha yose guma murugo all the time stay home nazi kutaro fita handu giya na nandi mahitamo so you had no choice except to be at home nango dukiye kuba murugo kuko babidutegetse we shouldn't be at home because we have no command we should be there kumenya ukuri ni kintu kingenze it is very important to know the truth ikindi kidufasha mu rugendo dukwiye gusaba ko Kristo adushoboza another thing we should ask Christ to empower us kumenya ngo ndinde is to know 
ndinde who we are who are you ndinde who am i nareme wiki why am i here ni emano fite what gifts do i have what is the calling upon my life bimwe muri byo mvuze one of those things are supposed to be kuba warabimenye mu mujyango aho vuka you should have known it from your family ariko kuko imana ari urukundo because god is love yakuzanye mu mujyango wa kabiri witwa itorero is given you another family kugira ngo amahiga utagize hijyu yagirira aha so that you may compensate for what you lost yemamvu kuye kwinjira ukinjira ukinjira that's why you should be part and parcel of the family umuntu uza gusa mu visiteur ukamenya ko kwe kuba hano nk'umwana mu rugo just coming to church as a visitor but as a child you will know your identity you will know your calling you will know your gifts if you don't know your identity you do whatever comes you speak whatever you want you handle yourself like others because they don't know who you are Mwaya masenge shimana izagushoboze kumenya ngo ndinde basa. Let God reveal to you who you are. In these prayers, utamenya uri we ni nzitiz. It is not knowing who you are is a limitation. Ikindi no gukundisha imana umutima wose no bwenge n'imbaraga. The other is loving God with all your heart and mind. Ibi bigizitege ko rikuru. This is the great one of the greatest commandments. Mari munzi ko Yesu ari we wa mbere yahishuye ko imana ari data. Did you know that Christ is the one who got a revelation that of God as the Father? If you have that revelation, you should love God with all your heart. Speak two things about this. When we refer to the heart, mind and strength, we are speaking of the three components of man, spirit, body and soul. Bikuye kuvanga namaraso yawe no guhumeka nubuzima bwawe bwose Imana ikaba irahantu hose 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 God should permeate your entire being Uhereye mu mwuka mu bugingo no mu mubiri From the spirit body and soul Bibiri iravuga ngo nibaje no kudutekereza ngo badutekereze ngo nk'abantu ngo ngo beguri ubwe ubwira ubw'Imana ndo nk'abantu bo kwizeka People should regard to us as people who are stewards of the mysteries of God. How do people think about you? There are some Christians I wonder what I would say when they die. What would I say? What would I speak about them apart from forging? Because even me who shepherds them, I don't know anything about them. Love your God with all your heart, mind and strength. Yes, we know how to do it. Jesus re was revealed to that, that God is our Father. That's why he said when you pray, say, our Father in heaven, allow be thy name, let your kingdom come. I can't tell you how much I love that word. He's the father to the rich, the poor, to the ignorant. He is our father no matter the class. And we have equal rights before him. He has also accepted you. Even if you come, he will accept you. He is our Father. The other limitation is having no fellowship, intimacy. Our pastor has written that book. You should look for it. Some people are not even aware of its existence. He talked about intimacy well enough. When I reach here, I feel ashamed. Because the people our ancestors had such a great intimacy with God. 
Enoki yagenanye n'Imana imyaka 300. Enoki walked with God 300 years. Kubera ubushuti byinshi bafitanye because of the such if great friendship. Cyemezo cyo gumutwara mu ijuru adapfuye. God decided to carry him without dying. Yasa nkaho Imana yivuguruje. It's like God had yaravuze ngo ubwo umuntu akoze icyaha gupfa ko azapfa. Yet God had said man must die. Umuntu yubatse ubusabane n'Imana byatumye Imana ikorirenga yobora. But someone was so intimate with God that God reviewed his Imana word and took no, him. Yabwiye no wango nabazi nkuge hasigaye imyaka 2020 mvurikago. God told no one to create his to make the ark 120 years before. Igihe Imana nigiye kurimbura Sodomu before God destroying Sodom. Yaravuze ngo sinabikora nta byinshuti yanjye Abraham. God said I cannot do this without telling my friend Abraham. Mose abantu bagomeye imana when Israelites had rebelled God told Moses I'm going to kill them and I'll give you a new a new nation, a new people arayibwira ngo ngiye kuguha igitekerezo he said let me give you an idea nacuba yarushawe kirimo Moses said you won't receive glory the Egyptians will laugh Yosuwe hagaritse umuzenguruko w'isi Joshua stopped the constellation the Yesaya hano Yesu asigaye imyaka 600 Isaiah prophesied Christ 600 years before None twegwe twizerera Yesu ibiraye ibyo mu ruhengeri But for us we believe Christ n'udufaranga dukeya n'inzu yo kubamo for just a few Irish potatoes and a little money bivuye bivumbuye kumana ngo babuze abagabo Others are annoyed with God because they have they have failed to get husbands Kereye usabana We need intimacy. Abantu bavye murenge people from the Mulenge area ari kintu kimwe mbazi hokera have one thing I know about them. Bara abantu bagendera ku masezerano y'Imana. These were people who walked with the covenant of God. Nyuma nushaje agasiga biraze umwana ukamugira ngo Imana yatugiye age They would leave that covenant with their children. But what shall we tell our children? What shall we give them for an inheritance? In the spiritual world, what shall we leave for our children? We need intimacy. We need intimacy with God. Um, Ikindi dukiye kumenya ishingano nkuru. Also we should know the greatest responsibility. Ano ano ari jambo rihanditse sindi niba mwara risomye cyangwa mutara risoba. I don't know if they read this word on the wall. Itara ni muri kirumunyi. The city light. I wish the Christians of this church understood this. You cannot know how much light you are supposed to give without knowing how much darkness you face. If you see how many youth out there are tired in bars and smoking, We need light in this city. Hanyuma niba umara umwaka utazanye umuntu numwe kuri Yesu. But if you can spend a whole year without leading one person to Christ. Then you ha- you have disappointed the kingdom of God. You see how we are here. Nubwo wakoresha stati yawe kuri kuri WhatsApp gusa ukabwira abantu hano ko ari iteraniro wabukoze ikintu kiza mu bwami bw'Imana. Even if you let people know on your WhatsApp status that we have found fellowship. Bibaje kugira inshuti bihumbi bitanu kuri Facebook ukamara umwaka nta numurongo wa bibiri yushizeho. If you can if you spend a whole year without even writing a single verse on your Facebook. Ugi France uzi nico ngereza bimaziki. What's the use of your English and French? Ubumenyi bwose Imana Imana yarembestishe muri wowe kugira ngo ubu uzi byuze. God uh, created you and gave you what much you should know. Ubu abantu bari hano bize. The people here who have gone to school. Ubu bafata inyigisho mu shumba bigishe bakazandika mu bitabo basa. You could even get a book from the sermons we hear here. Ubu gukora. But because we don't know what we ought to do. Ntabwo tuzi ko bibiri igizwe n'amagambo abiri gusa akomeye. We don't know that the Bible has Ijambo rimwe ni tegeko rikuru ijambo rya kabiri ni inshingano. It's based on the great commandment and the great commission. Yesu yaravuze ngo ni mugende. 
Christ said go and make disciples of nations no ari rindi bihanditse and it's even written here yene tugomba tugomba kujya gushaka we supposed to go and look tugomba kwegeranya abantu go supposed to gather people hanyuma tukabahindura and transform them hano handitse difference abantu kwerekana itandukaniro raising people who make a difference hanyuma uzabahindure no kuba abana b'Imana and transforming them into children of God and transform them into disciples iyo mwakoze sabukuru ko mubashaka mukababona when you celebrate anniversaries you look for the missi anyo yo kuvuka mukabwira abantu ko yesa rumukiza how about you use your anniversaries to preach nubu ndi kusanzwe batumira wababwiye ko yesa bakunda even when you invite them tell them that Christ loves them let me stop here we shall begin from there amen 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 can you give me five more minutes kuba ubuzima butagira yerekwa ni cyerekezo nayo ni inzitizi having a purposeless life is a limitation without a direction of where you are from not knowing where you're going is a limitation hanyuma inzi inzitizi ikomeye ni ukuvuka ukirera is no is being born and you nurture yourself abantu benshi barirera mu nzu y'Imana many people are nurturing themselves in the Aba house of God they are independent uh ntabwo ari kwigenga gusa kandi kwigenga bishobora kubyara kwigomeka independence breeds rebellion nyande bukuna amatorero menshi atangira i see how many churches begin atangira muri rebellion they begin out of rebellion imbuto yose umuntu abyaza isarura whatever you sow you will reap iyo wigometse nabo bazakwigomeka if you rebel you will all, people rebel against you uzikubona itorero rikuzuga ituca mu ngice imagine dividing a church kandi umuntu abafite inginga shingira and and you are confident ariko ziherekejwe no kwigomeka and we confident and we base all your reasons on rebellion because you live a life without purpose and direction paul yaravuze ngo bamwe ngo bamwe bamwe barahinze abandi baruhira paul spoke of some who planted and others watered kimwe mu bibazo dufite nuko bamwe arabapora abandi bakabarabapora some people are pauls apolo na paul and paul ibyo bino nabwo bikwiye kwa mugambi bw'Imana Apollos and Paul shouldn't be in the whole kingdom of God. One thing I remember I think about I nzabona mbere yuko mfa nifuza kubona. I wish to see this before dying. Tuzongera kubona ubumwe bw'abana b'Imana. Is the unity of the children of God. Nukubona nukubona urukundo muri bene data. Seeing love among the brethren. Nukubona abantu bahagurukana ubutumwa bwiza bakabujyana seeing people preach the ghost good news kumenya ko twese dusarure dufatanyiriza hamwe gusarurira umwami knowing that together as one body we should look for a harvest for the king yo tuvuze kwirera when we talk about nurturing ourselves umuhamagaro uravuka ukaregwa ugakura ugakora callings are born nurtured they mature and then work hariho uruhare rw'abantu babiri hariho ukurera hariho nurego we have two people one who is nurturing and the other one is nurtured hari abantu rero banze kurego some people have refused to be nurtured bazi ko babizi kuruta abandi they think they know more than others umva nkubwira inkuru itashimishije let me tell you bad news ushobora kuzava mu munyedini mwiza ariko ntiwaba umwana w'Imana you will become a good religious person but you want to be a child of God nyuma ya Mose hari Yosua after Moses there's Joseph Joshua after Elijah is Elisha after Jesus and the apostles hari Timoteo after Paul is Timothy Paul yageze ahubwo yandika ku Timoteo aravuga ngo si mfite undi muntu umeze nka Timoteo nabatumaho duhuje umutima Paul commended Timothy to such an extent that they shared one heart. Hargenya nibaza inzani ko Paul yanditse kuri Timoteo nabandi. I think about the episodes Paul wrote to Timothy. Nibaza ngo mfite umuntu yandikira nkuko Paul yandikiye Timoteo. And I ask myself can someone write to me the same way? Akabazo cyaka kukubaza pastor wawe ninde. Pastor wawe ninde. Who is your pastor? 
Who are you accountable to? Whom do you seek advice from? In your times of weakness, who strengthens you? Look at me. A normal person. Uh, they deceive themselves 70%. Don't 70% of deception. Add temptation, add trials. Add the hearts and wounds. Add about uh, the town life. <laughs> If you want to be productive in the kingdom, you have to accept to be nurtured. You cannot be productive in the kingdom of God. Even amongst you who, who have the responsibility of nurturing, you should lead people to Christ, not to yourselves. Don't teach people rebellion, teach them submission to Christ. That is important. Lastly, is the second commandment. Love your neighbors, you love yourself. How do you change clothes five times without with it? You have someone without it. Love your neighbors, you love yourself. God should give us love to others in these days of prayer. There are people who are here when they are complete orphans who are looking for an opportunity here. Some people just need an embrace to be, to feel at, uh, relaxed. I saw someone in the Poshka but they had a straight face. They were annoyed. Then I saw someone who committed an offense to me and this guy spat. And I was wondering, a person in such a good car, what is his issue? You have people who have, who have a livelihood, they will greet you with a phone and keys and they have a, a gloomy face. Those who are born of the cross should love each other as brethren. When you love each other, you will be the true disciples. In the, in the last days, the love, the love of many will, will grow old. People will be lovers of themselves. In the revelation, it says you have left your first love. The love that caused you to pray for the church. One day I saw someone seated at the back of the church and they were writing in the book. And I say, let me see what, you, what has blessed you. I found that they had written 11 mistakes the preacher had made. I said, in your book, you only have mistakes. He said, me, I'm never blessed. I'm here to look for mistakes. In love, you don't look for mistakes. Love forgives all and is patient. Bears when your neighbor is weak, you strengthen them. When you see the preacher in weakness, you pray for You should not be the first to criticize a brother. But rather, you should intercede for them and be because he's under attack today. Tomorrow it may be you. Those who are going for battle should not be like those who are coming from battle.
Ninde yagushinze kuba maneko wabakizwa na badakizwa. Who has made you to spy on others? Wagwanye nivyo navyo ko bitoroje. Fight your own battle because it's not easy on you. Sana Yesu anyumo gafasha abandi mwitegeko rya kabiri. So that's the second commandment. Nari shonje muranga burira. I was there's a remember saying I was hungry you fed me I was naked you clothed me I was a visitor you gave me shelter I was thirsty you gave me water to drink Nako gukora ubushakashatsi ngo ndebe abantu banywa amazi meza nabanywa mabikwisa uko bangana Google irabivuga Google has enough research on how many people have access to clean water Bibiri bya gatatu byisi bigizwe namazi. Tusadze of the entire earth is full of water. Ariko abantu banywa amazi meza kwisi ntibageze kuri 70% people have access to clean water. Hari umuntu ukeneye kumubera kumubera maboko. Someone needs you to be their arms. Hari umuntu ukeneye kumubera imbaraga. Someone needs you to be their 